So when you decided, and, and there, there will be people watching now who will think, oh my God, that's me right now. Mm. But there'll also be people thinking, how do I stop? How do I get out of this? And you did. How did you do that? Honestly, Philip, it's a miracle to this day, but it's my, it's real. I, I thought for many, many years, sorry, <laughs> I thought for many, many years that alcohol had chosen me and I had no choice. But actually, the alcohol wasn't the problem. The alcohol was on the, on the table, in the bottle. It was me drinking it. So it wasn't on the, it was something in me. It was something inside me. Um, I have alcohol in the house now. My partner was around last night. He brought a bottle of wine. Uh, he had a glass. It's in my fridge. Uh, my sister, who has no drink problem, we have alcohol for when she comes. And I just, I see it every day, but I don't see it. I don't see it. And it's, I know you're looking at me and no, I... No, no, no. I, 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 no, I, no. I, mean, I think, I think it's, every, it'll it's be incredible. so helpful. It's incredible. It's, it's almost like, and I do not mean to diminish this for anybody that struggled, it's almost like I changed my mind. Mm. I view alcohol. I wasn't giving up anything because when you give up something, you're almost you're losing out. Yeah. Alcohol you gained, gains you gained everything. Nothing. You gained everything. Gained everything. Nothing. With your mother and with you yourself, <clears throat> it sounds like and you, right, you sort of you hated how unavailable you were to your child this uh, or the other. But it sounds like you were, they were very. You were fully functioning. Your mother was fully functioning. She was. She was sort of the life and soul of the party. People would think she was fabulous. Yes. To have around. Didn't see her at the end of the night no. when other that people. Was me. And that and that was you <laughs> too. Yeah. So, from outside looking in, did people not necessarily know the sort of depths of what your situation as would have been? Well, also as the child of an alcoholic, you're extremely protective because mm. as a child, you basically think that your parents are everything to you and that you are everything to them. And in order to, I mean, even today before here, I was thinking to myself, you know, my mother died 16 years ago. Is this a betrayal? Should I be talking about this? Because my mother was a respectable, you know, highly intelligent yeah. woman. You said but she wasn't drinking out of a brown paper bag. She was drinking out of a Chanel bag. Yeah, exactly. So and we this have notion the wrong perception of, well, anyway. This notion of alcoholics being tramps in the street is wrong. You know, there are plenty of alcoholics behind closed doors right now, possibly having a gin to this programme. Yeah. Equally, I think it's so difficult for children because what you really need as a child is consistency. Yeah. And to put your key in the door when you come back from school and not know what you're getting. Yeah. or frankly to be collected from school and think to yourself is she over the limit so that when... is so disconcerting you're, you're basically loving and hating a parent in the yeah. same yes. day yeah when you difficult. told Christopher that you were going to stop did he believe you no he he was uh, I said to him we we've always been very close he's always said he loved me but of course he didn't like me and I didn't like myself and mm. if I don't like me who, who the hell oh, excuse me who else can sorry um, and I said to him that's it love I'm, I'm not drinking anymore. Do you believe me? And he said no. And that was the only conversation we had. And I thought, I, apart from I said to him, OK, well, the onus is not on you to believe me. The onus is on me to prove to you that I'm diff that my behaviour. Um, so I started a, a, a health and weight loss wellness business. I wanted him to see it because he'd come out of his bedroom in the morning and he would turn left and my bedroom door would be closed. And the poor guy must have thought, is she going to be OK? Yeah. Yeah. It's whatever. But then we have a small room on the, on the right and he would get up and I'd be up at 5 o'clock in the morning studying and writing my weight loss programmes and writing my blogs. And I'd be morning darling every morning, every single morning. That consistency of every being single there morning. and being available and to You're him. right, love, did you sleep well? And then he... Oh, sorry, can I just... Cause this is so no, go on, go on. Four months later, because he helped me so much with my nutrition, he, changed, he chose the name comes with me to my classes, puts things up, puts things down. He sees people treat me with respect and people come up to him in the street and say, your mum's amazing, she's changed things for me, it's wonderful. But four months after that, he came into the office and my, my computer face is here and his chair was there and he, we looked at something, he, was, he said, I think you should do this and that. And he said, oh, by the way, I believe you. And I was like, oh, great, love, what, uh, what do you believe? And he said, I believe you're not drinking anymore and I, I really want to high-five someone. Could we do that, please? Yes! <laughs> 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 and that's the day we celebrate, which is the 1st of October. Not the day I stopped, the day he said, I believe you. Well, he did get in touch with the show, actually, <gasps> and he said, um, this is Chris, he said, I didn't think you could give up alcohol, mm -hmm. even though I was desperate for you to, but I believe you now, Mum, and I'm very proud of you, and I love you. Sweet. Have that. Thank you. You can keep that. So I would like to say he is proud of me, and I'm really proud of myself, and people say you're inspirational, but it, it, it shouldn't have happened. That's yeah. the thing. And if there was support for the children and the parents. I think, personally, if Christopher had been able to say to someone, mm. my mum is this, mm. I think I would have been shocked and ashamed and because I didn't think he knew. Of course he knew it all. Of course, yeah. Well, There's nowhere for um, them to go, though. This yeah. report, this, uh, you, you, yes. uh, as I said, that you broke, the, broke this story, um, that some of these children who phone up, phone up five years old yeah. to be read a bedtime story because their parents are drunk, read, they, they phone up 
so often that the the, the person at the end of the phone yeah. um, ha has has their favourite yeah. books by I the said, side of the I phone. I asked the councillor, what's one of the pop most popular books? She said, fairy stories for seven-year-olds, right? So... And if anyone wants out there wants to have a look at this website, nacoa.org.uk, equally, this is this manifesto for change. So what this all-party parliamentary group, with backed by children of alcoholics, is saying to the government is, you must provide more help, not just at local authority level. We need better education in schools. We need teachers to be better educated to spot the signs of children who uh, might have alcoholic parents and be struggling. All the way to stuff like... Why do alcohol brands support uh, um, sponsor football teams? Mm -hmm. Why are we promoting alcohol to our children? And why aren't we being a bit more honest about the pernicious effects of alcohol on our society? Well, that's going to be our phone in today. Yeah. Um, prompted by this. Yes, and well thank done. Thank you so you. much. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. And good morning to Christopher as well. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes, Hi, darling. Yes, yes. I love you. <laughs>